Terrell Suggs tucked away in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yes, sir. What have you been up to out here? Man, nothing, man. Raising my son, playing basketball. You're kind of in the background a little bit, man. You, yeah. You're not on social media. No. You're not putting yourself out there. No. You like that? This time of my life right now is what I've always wanted to get to. I just get to be dad now. You know me, uh, my daughter, she's a sophomore. My son, he's a freshman. And I just pretty much get to go to all their games and kind of pester them and, you know, embarrass them a little bit. So playing for the Ravens, that was pretty, that was pretty fun. That was more like, you know what I mean? It was just me living life, you know what I mean? Being young, but now this is where life starts. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just strictly being dad. For you, what stands out as your favorite Baltimore memory? Definitely New Orleans, 2012. Like that whole ride, definitely that. I mean, if you think about it, it was so special. It was the last time all of us played together. You know, Ray and, and Ed and myself and Haloti. We think, you know, Ray Lewis was Maximus. You know what I mean? Like, he, he, he's indestructible, you know what I'm saying? But, and he came back right before the playoffs. Like, he worked really hard to get back and was like, you know, this is going to be it for me. And it just kind of like all hit us, like, you know, I cried, I believe Haloti cried, you know what I'm saying? And, and it all just stuck with us. And we was like, all right, well, if this is it, we, we going out with a bang, you know what I mean? And it showed on the field, that Raven persona, man, it was like, we loved who we were, we loved what we were doing, and not only that, we loved each other, man. How rare is it to have three Hall of Fame guys, you can be future Hall of Famers sitting in front of me right here, Ed Reed, you, Ray Lewis, all on the same defense. Yeah. That doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And you know, you mentioned all of us, all of us won player of the year too. It was the first time in uh, NFL history, the only time in NFL history that, you know, three defensive player of the years were all drafted on the same team and wow. played together. I was naive, you know, when you're young, you're naive. I, I didn't think I would ever, you know, play games, not in a Ravens uniform and not with my brothers, you know, Ray Ed and Haloti, but, you know, the time gets us all. 2019, I mean, if you asked Baltimore fans whether Terrell Suggs would be in another uniform, they would say that would never happen. Right. But it happened. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Tell me, is that the way you wanted it to end or no? No, it wasn't the way I wanted it to end. And uh, I tell you all this now, it's, it's, it's been uh, enough time. Um, my mom was term terminally ill. Like nobody knows that, you know, we're a pretty private family. She was, you know, on, you know, her last final stages and I couldn't be in both places at once. I couldn't like look after her and, you know, train and work out and go back to Baltimore. And, and I just couldn't do both. Like, I was going to sign back, you know, and then I just decided like at the last minute, I was like, I can't, I can't. Like I, if something happened to my mom while I was gone, I would have never forgave myself. Ozzy called me, he was like, Terrell, well, he was like, Sizzle, what are you doing? Sizzle, your, your kids live here. And I was like, I know, Oz, I know, but uh, this is something I gotta do. So I, I came home to kind of like take care of my mom. And you know, she ended up passing uh, the next year. At the end of the day, it didn't end how I would want it to, you know, I always wanted to be, you know, in, you know, in that black and purple forever. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't happen that way. Amazing father, amazing son. You try to be. You consider yourself a raven for life? Raven for life. Raven for life, you know, because from the moment I got there, it was just like my, my life changed, like my football career just changed. What do you miss most about the city of Baltimore? I miss the people, I miss the tailgating, you know, driving up to the stadium and seeing everybody I'm going crazy and they know it's me. It's been great to me, man. That city's been great to me, man. It just embraced me with love.